Make sure here too that you don't press on any finger or on your thumb especially. You are gliding with the minimum of pressure over your fingerboard. Same applies for the bow. You cannot correct intonation by squeezing or pressing your bow. Now it is up to you to play the scale in a certain key. But you'll see it's not difficult anymore. For instance, C major. In this context, I recommend the popper etude number 29, just the passage with the double stops. Finally, we reach the octaves. Playing octaves is easy. As easy as playing fourth. We work in the area between A and A and we start with playing a chromatic scale. After this chromatic scale, you can take any scale that you like. For instance, a whole tone scale or a regular scale or minor thirds, major thirds, but you always follow the program as we had it. Always go back. the A and on the way back the same thing you go back to the higher A. If you want to check your shape of the day play the popper etude number 38. <laughs> so on. If you don't have enough now, I'll give you an example of how you can develop your thumb position further by incorporating all fingers and almost all possible double stops. Again we have three patterns. One, two and the third. And we'll pick one 
and go chromatically up. Take the second pattern and do the same thing. And so on and so on. And finally the third one. To conclude this program, you play a scale in the key. For instance, A major. Here I recommend the lovely popper etude number 33. Have fun. Last but not least, I have to warn you, don't practice double stops too much. If your thumb or any other finger or your arm or anything else start to hurt, then you have to stop immediately working on that specific exercise. Second, don't ever get frustrated if the double stops remain out of tune for a certain time. Stay patient, try again next day, practice them softly and slowly again. I'll do that tomorrow too. Take care and so long.